Tommy, fresh from our midweek win, got Eastley back into league action this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Yeah, it's been a good couple of games for us, you know, albeit in the Cups, but we've progressed through in the FA Cup to the first round proper again, which is one of the aims at the beginning of the season. Um, and I was pleased with the way we did that. Wasn't pleased with a bit in the middle. And obviously, Christian, you know, he's not a, a malicious lad and, and he's also been out a long, long time himself with injuries. So, you know, it was more of a rash challenge than a vicious challenge. But it was a red card and I thought the lads responded excellently well. You know, uh, we actually made as many chances with 10 men as we had done before with 11. And when you score at the end of a game like we did, somehow people think you're lucky or it's not luck. You know, it, it's, a, it's a culmination of a lot of things. But we, have, we managed to score the second goal in the 90-odd minute. Um, and I'm delighted that we did. It saved us a, a little bit of a fixture backlog. Well, we spoke about it briefly after the game on Tuesday, and I guess it extends to Saturday's game as well. But with it being the Cup, there was obviously a few players that had their chances and, and probably took them. So is that giving you a bit of a dilemma ahead of this weekend selection? Well, it's good. I mean, the, the Cup competition in, in midweek, um, for one reason or other, has, has not been taken to by, by the, the general public across the, the country, not just ours. Um, but, you know, if people knew everything about that competition and what it can bring to the football club and I mean in terms of you know, I got five or six lads you know 75 plus minutes which they haven't been able to get recently <clears throat> we managed to get two more youngsters involved in a match day squad for the yeah. first team one of them making his debut um, and ultimately you know it's a it's a game where it's a different kind of opposition I think the people who did come along would have gone home quite pleased and you know enjoyed what they watched to be honest with you it was a, it was a good game they were very fit um, obviously very well organised and technically proficient. So they're a slightly different opposition to what we face every week. But it's I, I, I see no harm in that competition at all. And like I said, the benefits to the club, you know, it will always stay private to do in, in those competitions. But I think it's, uh, it's a good thing. Looking at our opposition this weekend, Eastleigh have been historically a bit of a bogey team for older shot. But, you know, we tasted victory in the FA Trophy there, albeit on penalties. But we, we you know, we got the better of them on that last season. So, you know, we, we can take that maybe and, and that penalty shootout win to, with us this weekend to, to give us some confidence maybe. Yeah, <clears throat> look, they've got or they have had over the last couple of seasons the most prolific individual in terms of go scoring goals at this level. He's ably assisted by some good experience around him. Um, and they have the way of playing, you know, Kelvin and Danny, who I know really well, um, they're proper, proper professional football men. Um, and I'm sure they'll be set up and organised to a T in terms of they'll know what we're, we're decent at and they'll, they'll know where they think they can exploit us. And it's the same from our point of view. We're, we're focused after Derby very much became Eastley um, and all my focus since Tuesday night's been on that. They'll be a very different entity, as I say, to the, the two teams we've just played. Um, and again, sometimes I think... Rightly or wrongly, when, when you turn up against Bath City at home, like we did last season against Lewis, you're expected to win. And if you, if you win, you don't get a lot of praise for it. But you look at the, the teams in this division who've gone out, not particularly the ones who've gone out to teams against opposition of the same level, but there are a lot of teams in our division who've gone out to teams below, from below the level. It's not, it's not an uncommon occurrence. So, you know, I'm, I'm a little, um, I'm a little bit more pleased than most. I would have thought, a with the performance and b with the result against Bath, and then to follow that up, it means we've had two wins in a week concurrently. So, you know, these people who like to throw stats around and say we haven't won for four games, well, we haven't lost for two games now. So, and we've won two in a row. So, we're looking for a three-win week. If we can do that, it'll be a really, really good uh, week for the for the whole group. It's our first chance to talk about that FA Cup draw away to Bradford. It's it's a tie that's actually been played a couple times yeah. over the last 10 years, but it's still a good place to go, isn't it? And will provide a good challenge for the lads. Anybody who's connected with our football club who doesn't think this is a good draw needs to give their head a wobble. <laughs> Trust me, they are a massive football club. Yeah. You know, they're averaging 18,500 people just shy um, in League Two. So from my point of view, I think it's a great venue. I've, I've played there. I've been there to watch football in, in the various different roles. I've had at different football clubs. And I know it's a long way away, and that's the biggest, you know, um, drawback for, for our faithful. But I'm sure we'll take lots, lots up there when the time comes. But I have to put that on the back shelf like we did last year. You know, you've got to, you've got to focus on the here and the now. And ultimately, our here and now is three league games in, in eight days and a lot of travelling with it. 
yeah, tough run, isn't it? But two of those games are going to be at the EBB, yeah. which is great. I mean, maybe hopefully a few more fans than we saw on Tuesday, but we had some brilliant support on Saturday in the FA Cup and I'm sure yeah. that will continue. In, oh, in excellent. Oh, listen, our fans have been superb um, and I understand their frustrations when results, and I mean this, results don't go our way. They're entitled to, you know, to vent their, vent their spleens a little bit. They're, they're allowed out of their hatches and they can scream at me and they go back in there. But, you know, they chose not to, they chose to show their, you know, the disappointment of us playing in this National League Cup by not turning up, that's their right. And I'm not, you know, I'm not holding anything against anybody. But I'm sure that the place will be full on Saturday against Eastleigh. And Southend, if we don't turn up in numbers, we'll be outnumbered because they come in heavy numbers. Um, again, two great fixtures as far as I'm concerned. And if you look beyond that, it's Hartlepool. Um, and then you're looking at Bradford. That's a, that's a football league programme. They are clubs that could all play in the Football League. Um, and I like to think we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all of them. <laughs>